Hello and welcome to a pair of Dice Lost podcasting channel. My name is Brendan and I'll be your storyteller for the evening. On tonight's episode, the gang finishes up their montages and begins a proper infiltration of the museum. Also, myself and Marcy get into a dab off. I wish I was kidding, but that is totally what happened. This is Exalted vs. World of Darkness, Friendly Neighborhood Exalts, Episode 14, The Good Thief. This is just security. Right. Okay, are we doing... I, I imagine I... You guys are basically every... casing the place. I, br I bring okay, all... Well, I, my play, I'm not going to be at the actual museum. I'm going to be doing, like, a metric fuck ton of research. Are we doing this all simultaneously? Yes, this is okay. kind of all happening simultaneously. Okay, so I don't know what she just found out. Um, yeah. you guys are probably in contact with each other, so, like, I'm not going to have... Coded text messages. You guys probably all waited for Cass to get back with her initial thing because you know that she can just kind of fade from people's memory. Y'all don't know about the dynamic LARPing because this is literally the first time that she's done it. Second but time. Second time? Yep. Yeah. I dressed myself up as a vampire woman and attacked a uh, Oh, right. Bonnie. That's right. Okay. Um, are we doing this at night or during the day? Nighttime. Uh, uh, the actual heist? Yeah. The actual heist is at night. Okay, great. Here's what I would like to do. First okay. things first, um, I know what it is like to be a night shift worker when you have nothing to do but look at dead things. I would like to go to my morgue and try to rustle up something that induces a certain medical condition when consumed. Too no, <laughs> not close, close, but not quite. It's like some sort of chemical cocktail from my morgue office and just induces, like, very intense, debilitating diarrhea. Oh, God. Okay, um, give me a... That would definitely hard be an intelligence medicine. Okay. Well, yeah, it's gonna be a problem for Tyler. Who knows? That would definitely... Six. You're a trained medical student, so, like... Six. You make enough or find enough doses of this particular mixture of substances that you can dose six of the guards with it, if you're careful. You know where this is going, right, guys? Totally, Shitstorm? totally in the coffee pot. Because you know they have a, 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 cop, a pot of coffee in their guard office that they all drink from like every couple of hours. Oh my god, you're so fucking right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out. And after I do that, uh, I'm going. Is there like a 24 hour library of some regard that has like a bunch of information? Uh, it is New York fucking city. Right. I am sure. Like that the biggest is. library I can find that's open 24 hours in New York City. And I'm going to go there and spend every uh, waking moment that I can. With my light sleeper uh, merit, merit, and just do a bunch of research on security systems, like safe cracking from like the 1900s onward, like safe cracking, like uh, security, like basically museum curation. Because mm -hmm. I'm going, to, if someone, if someone questions me, I'm going to say like I'm considering switching my major from uh, mortuary sciences to a uh, focus on um, Ar security. Ar uh, no, um, architecture, museum curation. Okay. Uh, anthropo yeah, anthropology, anthropology and museum curation. Okay. And I'm going to do that and study and find out as much as I can all night. So for that, with museum curation as the subject, I am going to give you that, while well, not all museums have it, and in fact it's super rare that this is there, but for high-profile exhibits... Especially during the nighttime. And this is more common in art museums than it is in a natural history museum, but it's not unheard of. For stuff that is not guarded by, say, like pressure sensitive glass and stuff like that, 
there's a high likelihood that they have some kind of silent laser trip alarm. Surprising no one, there is like the basics of security in this in this museum being a fucking silent alarm. Of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna look um more into doing research on pressurized glass mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Um, maybe some research on uh, no- notable museum heists that have happened. Okay. Um, there's a lot of like really a bit of a, I'm sure there's a rabbit hole on like weird design flaws and safes and uh, like locking mechanisms for exhibits, museums, and banks. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. You get you get a lot of interesting information, and for a lot of that uh, safe cracking stuff that you read on, I will actually be lowering the difficulty for cracking a safe for you uh, because you kind of like you know did the leg work. You did the leg work, and you know the anatomy of a safe. You now, have a basically. dot in safe cracking now. Yeah, you have a dot in safe cracking. Okay, um, I think that would be a pretty good montage for you. Um, Rick, Cody, Benji, or Jesse, who wants to pick up the ball next? Uh, I do have a thought of where I want to do what I want to do for this. So if people need time to think, I'll do it. If Jesse wants to go, he can go. I know what I'm doing. Okay. So Stargazer is actually taking out his car, and he is driving. Surreptitiously, he's going like he's just kind of driving through the city. And making sure he passes by the museum several times, essentially mapping out ways to go there, places that are around to park in, ways to leave, making sure it's paths that have branching paths. So if he needs to make a hard left on the way out, just in case he has he has those available on his way. Okay. Essentially, he is just getting that... He, he is getting the, the route ready. Exactly. Okay. He is okay. also making sure, once once done, to tune up his Nissan, just to make sure... <coughs> Honda, works. Honda. Well, Honda. <clears throat> right just there. to make sure it is working. Doing your, doing your Honda Civic Duty. Okay, um, Jesse, if you could give me... Is that your character sheet right in front of us? Yes. Um, what, did I give you technology? Or yes, science? you did. You gave me technology. Okay, could you give me an intelligence and technology roll? Difficulty six. Now with the, uh, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, difficulty four, because you have that, uh, that abacus. Yes, and also, in intelligence, I have it, the black, the little box filled in. Does that mean I, I count as one higher? Yes. Why does he count one higher? Alchemicals have a... Sustained excellency augmentation that gives them an extra dot in an attribute. Neat. Intelligence, technology. That would be in difficulty four because you have the uh, the abacus charm that lets you reduce the difficulty of all intelligence rolls by two to a minimum of three. Four successes. Nice. Okay. Your Honda Civic, the Tokyo Drift, is souped up properly and is uh, ready to go. Uh, With the work that you did on it, um, I'm going to give you some... During the chase scene, and just remind me about this if I forget, during the chase scene, I'm gonna... There might be some points where things are getting close, and I will give you a couple extra options to use. Got it. Okay, anything else you want to do? No, that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, so, so the montage goes on with uh, with Jesse driving around, uh, or with Stargazer driving around, and then finishing up, like, souping up his car. Make sure that precision tuning is super precision, 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 tuning, precision. whatever the word is. I it's, swear it's, I can it's, word. It's fine. We're, none of us are Adam and no cars. Shitbox, how to go Bert. I don't know the breeds of cars, and I'm too old to ask. (laughs) Who wants to go next? Alright. So. uh, Hearing that guard talk about extra shifts. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, walk into the museum. Okay. Hi, I'm, uh, 
I'm Leonard. Uh, I'm looking for some job, a job to make some extra money while I uh, go through college. And my friend told me y'all were looking for security guards. I'm sorry, this doesn't play very well for an audio podcast, but I am giving like the most like holy shit. I didn't realize that Cody can like holy shit. This is such a good. You, this is such I a good only play a play. dumb on TV. Are you sure you're not the distraction? Yeah, no, I'm the inside guy. Inside guy is not the distraction. Uh, so you will get the copy of Exodus. <laughs> you probably tell him not to drink the coffee that night. No, coffee's drugs. Mama said don't drink that. Mama said don't drink drugs. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you never drink the drugs. <laughs> um, so you go up to the guy who, ironically, is the same guy who talked to Cass before. Hey, yo, F- Leonard, you said. Yes, sir. You looking for another job? Or a job? That's, uh... Uh, well, you know what? How do you feel about being a temp gig? Yeah, yeah, I just need a little extra money because, you know, the last time we came to the museum, I uh, had a little trouble affording it, so I wanted to be able to do things with my friends. I paid for him last time I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're hiring now until probably the end of December. Ah! Uh... If, if you do a good job, we'll keep you on, kid. Uh, pays every once a week, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm real good at defense. I... Yo, can I ask you something? Yes, sir. You play for the Sharks? Yes, sir. Go Sharks. Go Sharks! <laughs> That's two for the Go Sharks <laughs> count for tonight, for the folks counting at home. <laughs> Bing. Is it technically three now that you've said it? No. All right, excellent. I'm an LI, I'm an LIU uh, alumni myself. Oh, I was when in did you graduate? Uh, five years ago. Around uh, anthropology. Do you know one of my sisters? Yeah, uh, he might. <laughs> Do, you might know one of my sisters. Oh, really? Who's your sister? <laughs> what a random female's name is probably one of you. <laughs> Charlotte is one of them. I remember that. Uh, yeah, of course you remember Charlotte. Yeah. Mara? No, no the one that's probably the youngest one. Um, okay, so there is Grace, who is the oldest. You have Olivia, Amelia, Ava, Mia, and Charlotte. Ava is the earth aspected one, Grace is the air aspected one. You know Chloe Van Zant? Chloe Van Zant? Yeah. Shit, I had English with her. She's the one who taught me how to play football. She's my older sister. Well, I'm glad you said that, buddy, because I was about to say something else. <laughs> anyway, you know what? Chloe, Chloe was real good. Chloe was real good. She she helped me. Uh, she helped me learn, learn just English. Strong grip on his shoulder. You can say anything you want. We're friends now. We're we're coworkers. We're gonna be buddies. Your just si- real strong grip. <laughs> Your sister's fucking beautiful. Yes, yeah, she is. I love my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it was honestly, it was like, oh, and then Cody actually strong grips me. Okay, this is good. Okay, this is definitely a, this is definitely a special episode here. <laughs> like the joys of in-person roleplay, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, uh, cool, yeah, day. yeah. I had English with her. She, she's beautiful. She's great. Uh, you know what? I owe it to her. I know. I know. Uh, she helped me out so much, you know what, since uh, I'll talk to my boss, I'll get back to you in a day, we should get you a job. He just kind of leaves you there, and like, if you wait, like, the next day, you get a call back, it's like, yeah, kid, you're hired! I'm gonna stand there till the next day. <laughs> wait right here, I'll be right back. <laughs> I win! <laughs> yeah, kid, you're hired! Like the Why did you... We really appreciate no, you. Really no, no, I did under your no, defense because no. I love you. We appreciate your commitment to the job. We appreciate your commitment to the job, kid. I did under your defense. I imagine the other night nice shift workers just hey, on it was a dog statue. That new guy. I don't like you, really big. I think that new guy's a little scary. <laughs> okay, um, so you now have a job as a security guard, Cody. What questions do you want to ask me about the defenses? Because you're now on the inside. All right, so I never expected this to happen. <laughs> First one is guard rotations and like how often 
They're rotated. You literally have access to it. You can give yeah. you can give everyone in the group access to the guard rotation. Next one is training and armaments. The guards. Like, do are... we have a gun cabinet? No. Oh, it's probably you do not. But you do have a lot of tasers. Oh, Motherfucking taser! <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass taser down. Uh, they do not. They, also, you have a lot of nightsticks. Oh, you know what? It's fucking really nice. Uh, Good thing I'm a Sam, solar. Sam I don't use nice sticks. I use day sticks. Motherfucker. The fucking Sam Fisher. There might, there might be. There <laughs> might be. He's about to drop, <laughs> drop, 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 kick me from behind the car. Stand by his face. Fucking, uh. Like, how much is There's also, uh. We, like, we, weirdly, they are. Besides having guns, they have a weird amount of, like, high money items in there. They're not Paul Blart Monka. Yeah. So like they've got the riot gear. Sam Fisher the... Mulco. What are they? SWAT? Do they have judo skills? Or night at the museum security. Like uh, night consi- Considering that they are currently uh They are a private military force hired by the CDC to watch over this shit. The C D C Cody The Criminal Disease Corporation. <laughs> the Criminal Disease Corporation. I did air quotes around C D C so Like I feel like that was a donation gift. Um, when it so this happens, this all happens about probably like three weeks before the actual heist. Um, you do notice that you are not getting paid by um, the museum like you thought that you would. It is definitely a private, like a, a private security company. Gotcha. You are not Ben Stiller Night at the Museum. Eh? You are PMC Night at the Museum. Oh, what's their names? Blackwater. Blackwater. No, not Fuck. the not, <laughs> no, not the murky water ones. The other ones. Payday. The ones that oh. we shot and you left their bodies out in the street. Oh, uh, Gentec. Yeah, Gentec. <laughs> Getting paid by Gentec. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was one time. You know what, Cody? Since you're doing this, do you ever look at your bank statement? All the time. I look. I look for my paycheck every Monday. I don't know that Lenny would, because... Okay, cool. No, Lenny's parents are rich. He never, literally never has to worry about money, because, you know, Illuminati money. <laughs> so probably not. Australian yeehaw Illuminati money. <laughs> Let's be real. Okay. Like, okay. unless, like, one of my teammates were to suggest it, he would not look at it. Does anyone want to suggest to Lenny to look at who's paying him? I, probably when I find out he works at the museum. I, probably, yeah. I'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, you've been paid? Let me see how much you're getting paid. He's getting paid a quite a substantial amount. Um, it's it's quite a substantial amount. <laughs> it is, he is definitely being paid at least a living wage. It's just blank checks. What kind of bullshit is Who's this? Paying him? You see, capital letters, the name Pentex Incorporated. You know, you remember that skit that Key and Peele did with like, yo man, we're gonna rob this bank. We'll just slowly rob them every day. But man, this is working for them. Oh, I know, Brent. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a secret. I we'll slowly know. rob them blind. <laughs> See, now I have Brit interested in the game. <laughs> no, you've got Brit going to kill you in your sleep. Think about it. It'll, it'll come to you. Pentex. It'll come to you. Should, should I know what he's talking about? You no, you actually probably wouldn't. Do you listen to the podcast? Not very routinely. I can't remember why I don't like that name, but I don't like it. That's fine. It'll come to you later when you listen to... I thought the people that shot up um, Izzy at the Chinese place, right? That's different. I mean, technically, um, yes and no. Is it, is it the, uh, the people that we were dealing with from... Uh, from Werewolf. Ding, ding, ding! Yep. The Fomori will see you now. I don't want it. I don't, I don't <laughs> remember the people who were like, I don't want Let's to lock remember. this girl up! Let's, let's let this person open the door and then pop right in front of her face. <laughs> no! Yeah, remember the people that locked Odessa up? Yeah, I was like, why do I hate that name? I don't... Why do I hate it? It was Werewolf. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Pentex is paying you. Right. Um... I'm basically going to be giving you guys his bonuses on the night of the heist because Lenny is going to be working that night. Dropping laxatives and coffee and shit. I'm going to accidentally press the call button on the security system. And see how quickly it takes on to respond. I'm tired for the police response. 
Oh, that's fucking good. Ooh. Um, he's not. If he's too if, many if heist he's, movies. If he's going like, there, if, too. if he's going there three weeks ahead of time, he's got plenty of time to test shit and be like, "I'm new. I'm sorry, it was an accident." Honestly, uh, in the three weeks you're waiting there, they probably test the system again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, I think they test the system. Also, again. like this also gives us time to study Pentex too. So. Um, it gives you guys about a week to study Pentex. He gets paid on like a... No, no, it gives you guys like two weeks to study Pentex because he gets paid on a weekly basis. You press the uh, call button uh, accidentally to see how quickly the cops show up uh, around, uh, let's say about 1 a.m. And the cops show up in about two minutes. Wow, that is a Those, That's not New York bit. City Police Department. They are all driving Jesse's Honda City. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, uh, fun fact, the police station's actually right next to They're attached. No. <laughs> um, There's no way that the New York City like Police Department... No, you're right. Uh, fun fact, two, minutes, are two, minutes, two minutes is way too quick. Uh, the, stand, they, the standard for emergency medical personnel and police is 15 minutes. Is it? Okay. Yes. Um... In that case, then I can't speak for New York City, but I can speak for like as someone who here. went to but New York City and like had to like get through it, it, it could be longer because like New York City is like very dense. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter that there's cops, cops. They're going to try and get their ass. It doesn't matter there. that they're yeah. cops with sirens. The people of New York. Wee -woo. I, I think, the, I think the national average is 15 minutes. I've seen it happen. The wee woos. Oh, the wee woos. But at the same time, there's probably a sizable donation that made sure that they would get there. Nine minutes. It's fast, it's ridiculously fast, but it's not my two minutes that I just said. They, they have motorcycles. <laughs> like, um, one of the things that you notice when you accidentally hit the call button, there was in fact a helicopter deployed. That did get there quicker. Did any surface air missiles pop up on the rooftop? Uh, no. Any, any, any armored military vehicles with turrets on the top? It's Beyblades all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, bonus experience is the first person who Beyblades someone. <laughs> Dude, you think we can't? It, it is if I shoot it, them enough times is, on one side of their body, will that cause them to spin around like a Beyblade? Is, is, okay. is, is Sam Fisher kept work your version of, of ripping somebody? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm so you have that information. We off. have. Anything else you need, Cody? Uh, did the cops appear to be more heavily armed? Yes. Okay. Just don't want to make any assumptions. Are they New York cops? I mean, yes. So yes. Yeah. To both questions. Benji, I believe you said that you were going I'm, next. I'm ready for next. Was, okay. Were there any in bomb suits? No. Not immediately. No kill It, it takes a little bit. I don't know. Just go suit talk some guards or something. I don't know. You have okay. Some shit. Let me actually I mean, turn my happy ass over towards Benji. Now you have an end to your ass is happy at work. Ah. Uh, well, it's not and asleep we yet, so we good. We are. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I'm telling you, for my prep, mm -hmm. I'm going to the... Yes. I'm going to the cafe that I'm going to safely assume is either inside of the museum or somewhere within a block radius. You, you would think the, it was fake. It's all cardboard the, cutouts. Are you going to the real cafe or the fake cafe? <laughs> <laughs> because let me tell you. It makes a difference. <laughs> the fake cafe's not there anymore. <laughs> uh, so, so to fill you in, since you did, since uh, one, I haven't posted the last episode, and two, you obviously weren't listening in on our Discord the other night. Um, Cody's six sisters made a pop up Starbucks that they faked to the point that they waited until Cody showed up to beat him up in a museum. We thought we were <laughs> With in a real Starbucks. coffee beans, even. <laughs> the best part of waking up. No, they weren't real coffee beans. No, they weren't real, they they were, real espresso uh, beans. They were Hershey but Kisses. They did make oh, yeah. of but they did make me some real good coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So then, yes, the real <laughs> one. Is real face? Van Zandt in your cup. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. so you guys go to the real one. <laughs> While I'm at the real one, I have my lovely computer sitting with me, which looks kind of like a okay, a Microsoft Surface, basically. Like the did tiny you, little. Did, did you did you read your description for your computer? Nope. <laughs> you should probably do that. Where is my? Computer? It's under your Wonder Five. I have a Wonder Two. That's my bow. Keep that in mind. My bow was a Wonder Two. 
That's a wonder five. So yeah. do, you, do you want us to read that aloud? <laughs> I just realized. Or do we want to make that like a... Uh, that can be a secret later. <laughs> okay, that'll be a secret for later. I have night sight. Yeah, it's pretty great. I, I have night sight <laughs> as of merit. You can so, have a war. <laughs> I have my computer. It's not plugged into anything because it's working off Wi-Fi at this point. And I'm backtracing into their systems. Okay. Load the cameras. Don't jump ahead of me. <laughs> so I'm tracing into their systems and I'm just kind of seeing like where everything connects. Mm-hmm. So that come the time of the heist, everything is mapped out appropriately. And I know where exactly I can plug in and where I can start making things move and stop or loop. Okay. Sounds excellent. Um, I'm also looking deeper into their security system, into their alarms, into everything like that, so that I know if, when, and where I can actually put a stop to things. So, like, if someone's going to trigger the alarm, I want to be able to get that alarm first and stop the alarm. Or okay. I want to be the voice on the other end of the phone when the security company or police or whoever call and are like, hey, is everything okay? I'm the one that's like, yeah, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. It was a false alarm. Question. Nobody finds it out. Well, logistics the question. Like an out computer. of character logistics question. Okay. When the, like, say they set the alarm for the night. When they open the door, is there like a time limit before they, uh, that they have to de- disarm the yeah. alarm? All right. I, the only reason I thought about this is I have to set the alarm at work all the time, and I have to like set it, and I have like I think thirty seconds to like yep. leave the building before it'll like yell at me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most of them are like thirty seconds to a minute or so. <laughs> so. Okay. That that sounds good. Uh, you get the uh, by accessing all this stuff, which is fairly easy for your computer to access into. You no, not this. hacking into things. Not hacking into things yet. <laughs> oh, you're not? Okay. Well, reason not hacking in is that. Oh, oh right. Oh, right. So I'm not actually hacking hacking into things. I'm backdooring things. Mm-hmm. So I'm exploiting the loopholes in their system they already have. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. I think I was just using hacking as just a generic yeah. Okay. umbrella term. Not... You are using the hacking role. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know that if one alarm gets tripped by accident, you can probably intercept it. But once you get multiple alarms tripped, things are going to get problematic. Noted. Any other questions? I don't know. We only one more to who brought the ballet bag? <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. Okay. I'm going to be, since you like kind of got in through their back door, you figured out some stuff, I'm going to be giving you some bonuses once the actual heist comes in. Mm-hmm. And we should be good for that. And finally, finishing off the montage is going to be Britt. Britt, what are you doing? I'm going to go visit Lenny at work. Okay. Like at night while he's there? or are you, uh, I guess not. Um the museum be closed. I'm gonna bring him his lunch. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty wholesome. I bring, I make his lunch and I bring it to him. Because he leaves it at the clubhouse every single time. Okay. <laughs> you guys might not have noticed, but Lenny's not the brightest bulb in the bunch. I need to so make sure you, he eats. So, okay, so here comes the scene. So you, so it's about 1 a.m. He's a night security guard. Mm-hmm. You have made Lenny some lunch. For his his, break. For his his break. break. So he doesn't have to drink the coffee. (laughs) Um, And you knock on the on the on the glass door. Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit. And finally one of the guards comes up and is like Like he's kinda like miming at you like And I'm just gonna like mime up a like brown paper lunch sack that says Lenny across the front and a smiley face. It takes a moment, and the guy just kind of <laughs> smacks his head as hard as he can, and he just goes, he like mimes towards the side of the building, and then he 
Any dabs? Any dabs? It's on that side. <laughs> he dabs towards the side. Yeah, he dabs towards the side of the building. And then... I'm gonna dab back. <laughs> It's over there. <laughs> what I what I what I go thanks, <laughs> Dad Mac. <laughs> you thank him and Dad back. He greets he, he greets you with a dab. <laughs> No, he's actually being serious. He works for fucking Bentex because he's a monster. Um, he, uh, Am I a monster, Liv? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Plus my monster and Pentex. We can't stop it. The dab is taking it is over. It's the dabbing. Nope. Not gonna get me to do that shit. Oh, yeah. Normal people driving their car. Mm-hmm. Hand on the wheel. All of us. <laughs> Jesse needs to make a turn. Jesse, your turns are turning that way. And then you're gonna turn that way. Just dead. Just on the ground like this. <laughs> Dab to the right. Dab to the left. (laughs) The bad part. The worst. Now dab real slow. (laughs) The the worst part. No, no, no. It has like the the other one goes like. No, no. The worst part (laughs) is that you. Is that this this guy yeah. has <laughs> enough drive pull to do that <laughs> to actually be like, yeah, I'm just driving by dabbing, <laughs> and the car's just doing it because I'm saying so. It hurts so bad. <laughs> I know that's so, so good. After I'm so he glad, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I finally got my soup moment. <laughs> So after he points. After he after he points. Uh, after he opens up the door. Hey. uh... You here with Lenny's lunch? He just told us that he's been hungry. Yeah, I'm here to drop it off to him. You mind so, if I bring it to him? Uh, I. Y- mm. Keep in mind, Marcy is like the nerdiest looking girl you probably have seen. She's got like the baggy clothes. She just looks like she just. There's nothing to her. He... The hoodie covers up the guns. Shut up! It's true. <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> It covers up her arsenal. Why do you think he covers the surface of air missile on her back? <laughs> Why do you think the she wears the baggy the gauge shotgun, the five revolving pistols, <laughs> all the javelins, <laughs> <laughs> the twelve C fours, and certain attack mines. C fours is serious, putty. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He o- he opens up the door and he's just like, "Jam it, Lenny." Yeah, sure thing. Come on, come on in, lady. He leads I'm you to. I'm gonna just follow him. <laughs> he leads you towards uh, the thing. He and there are a few points where he's like, "Hey, don't do, don't, don't, don't go off track here. Uh, there's some silent alarms around here." Okay, just tell me where to not step so I don't step there. He. <laughs> there's a point where that he tells you not to step on certain tiles at night. And you're not sure if he's lying to you or not. I'm just going to not step on him. I'm just, I'm going to act so innocent and just be like, okay, I don't know um, anything about security he, systems. He brings stuff. you on the way there. He's just like, so are you, uh, are you Lenny's girlfriend? No, I'm just a really close friend. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> He, he didn't. He didn't seem like the type. He didn't. Is going. He didn't seem like the type to get a cutie like you. Am I at work? Because I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> I feel really dirty saying stuff like this, being the guy who's hitting on the random person. But just, I feel like the security just channel guard. inner Charlie is fine. It's just you know I'm Kendra. It's, it's fine. You got this. Get there with <laughs> another strong hand. No, you okay? You tried it right, right? <laughs> <laughs> he uh he finally leads you back to the security <laughs> office where that uh where that uh fucking Cody is hanging out. Uh, and he and this security guard comes up to you and this isn't the guy who hired you. It's another one. And he strong hands you and he's just like, Your friend brought you your lunch. You better treat her right, Lenny. Wink. <laughs> 
It seems weird actually wi- <laughs> being in person and saying wink but not actually winking because wink. this is an audio medium. Wink. <laughs> That so security been, secret handshake is so, just so, wrong so, handing each other. So, so you've been given a uh, you've been given your lunch by uh, by Marcy. Oh, thanks. Told you you were an angel. She's an angel. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm sure. Strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about a man by his handshake. <laughs> uh, so, Britt, what do you want to try and find out now that you're in here? I'm in the I'm in the security office. Yeah. Um. I guess I'm just gonna... Maybe Lenny insisted you have lunch with him. Oh, there you go. I was gonna say, I was gonna talk to Lenny or the security wow. guard and just be like, so, what all do you guys do here? And, like, I just... I always have been to a museum, but I've never seen, like, the behind the scenes, and I just love museums so much. They give you kind of, um... You know, like, in the typical, like, movie stereotypes where, like, a chick will show up and be like, I know nothing about this, teach me! She's gonna me. talk him into mansplaining everything. <laughs> you got basic gatekeeping? There you go. Oh my God. I'm you gonna bait. play the, uh, the dumb wand in most stories. You the gatekeeping. Gatekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> he starts mansplaining security guard material. Yes. Well, what? you see when big, strong men want to get together and show how big He's got strong oh men are. So put her hands on his other shoulders. He's, so He's got his legs on. all fully open. One hand on the uh, knee, yeah. just like yeah, 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 like what Tyler did. exactly, <laughs> just just all like so you see, little lady. It takes a lot of muscle to be a security guard. It I takes a lot of muscle to be a security guard. I just and want to point he, out. And he looks at Lenny. Ain't that right, Leonard? <laughs> that that's right. And then Leonard flexes too. <laughs> Leonard's flex is way more impressive at strength five. I'm really glad I've never actually had to deal with this type of situation uh, in real life. And this is where we shower. Yeah. <laughs> He's really happy. I just love that. This is where I This is where all sixteen of us shower together. <laughs> Every hour on the hour. <laughs> God, make sure they we're clean go for the show. Motion. I'm gonna ask him. What show, Jesse? <laughs> what show? What show? Security what? show. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> the gun show, obviously. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to bring up the whole, like, not stepping on certain tiles and ask, like, right. so is that really true? Like, what happens if I step on those tiles? Oh, well, obviously you're going to uh, trip one of the silent alarms. Those tiles were near the, uh, the crystal coffin. Are they pressure sensitive? Or like, yeah, they're or they're, like a uh, line? they're they're there's a there's a little uh, like a vertical uh, thing, little vertical laser grid that goes up from or well goes down from the ceiling onto those. That's super cool. How does that work? Lasers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you are you so big and strong that you control them all by yourself? You're so smart. You gotta go seduce them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now. but yeah, like make sure that like when you go through, I feel like, like I a need cool some like, or anything. I feel like, like I need some like Velma glasses like, to like push senses. up and like just be super dirty to push up my Velma glasses. Then <laughs> well, he's like every laser, every boot of his glasses off, <laughs> let the hair down, and then go talk to the nerdy one. Yeah, so uh, you've discovered that the crystal coffin has uh, pressure weird plates. pressure plates with laser grids near it. So like, is it? A pressure plate, or is it like that? Those are the spots the lasers. Yeah, those are the spots that the lasers come. Okay, okay. They're, they're so not, not pressure, pressure, pressure plates, plates but he, they're. He was joking about it being pressure plates. When gotcha. Go. Yeah, it's actually a laser grid. Well, High just, density laser. I'll probably. Hey, I hear this guy makes good salary. Just saying. So I'll probably just like hang out a little bit longer, let like Lenny mm-hmm. like eat his lunch and stuff, and you know thank the gentleman and just like well maybe next time I'll bring you both lunch. Make sure, oh, right. make sure Lenny eats that. his crust. Thanks. Make sure Lenny eats his crust. So, uh, I don't really get the opportunities to talk to simple um, man. Is he walking me out? Or? Yeah, he walks you out. Okay. Out the same like side door? Mm-hmm. Do I notice anything like particular about the side door, like locks, like locking mechanisms? Or do they leave this one as their exit entrance for the other guards? The smoke door. <laughs> it's it's the go-have-a-smoke door. You can see a small pile of cigarette butts nearby. Uh. <sighs> Cass has to stand by that part and smoke a full cigarette before she goes inside. This. Anything else, Brit? Question. Yes. And this is a stretch, and I'm okay if you say it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. But if 
I had a cigarette butt from a guard and I used unshakable bloodhound technique, would I be able to know exactly where they are in the museum at all times when I'm inside the museum? Yes. I'm gonna collect a couple cigarette butts and just like shove them in my pocket after he like shuts the door behind me. Well, to remember, yours. since these guards are not creatures of darkness, it does cost essence to use. Okay. Obviously, I'm not using it right now, but yeah. Are we sure they're not? And we're for Pentex. Are sure? What? Are we sure they're not creatures of darkness? Uh, the guards know they're not. But Lenny other... would have noticed. Yeah. But yeah. other things nice. lurking around the museum could be. So it is now Halloween, the night of the heist. You guys have spent as much time as you can uh, acquiring uh, information that will help you all on the heist. How are, um, I guess, just kind of going around the table, I assume that Cody is going to be working that night. Yep. Who all is going with the driver and trying to get in? I assume that Christina is going to get in through some dynamic warping bullshit. I can uh, bring Lenny his lunch again. And visit your boyfriend while you're there. <laughs> um... At this point, how you is everyone the else planning? I, I'm not, <laughs> unless of course Jesse goes into the building. I'm not super concerned with Jesse, but everyone else besides Cody, I'm. I want to know how you guys are planning on getting in, or what your like starting move is. I know the secret password to get into the building. Do you? Yes, I do. Christina's going down. Did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Carp stall. Like, 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 I don't have a cop. Cop on here. Was that? Yeah. I don't have cop on my list. Uh, yeah. No, I don't think you have cop on your list. Oh, I'm pull up right now. Um, question before we are actually in. Mm -hmm. In terms of techniques for getting around or breaking into the, the type of security measures that this place is, I've been that we found out that they have. What is an appropriately themed tool to break into stuff that I would could carry with me? What's my What's my mail open for my pay? Um, an appropriately themed tool for breaking into things around here would be either a hammer, a shovel. Um, oh, shovel's topical. Let's go with shovel. Okay. When I go to give Lenny his lunch again, mm -hmm. because, you know, he always leaves it at the clubhouse, um, I'm going to have, like, a notebook with me and, like, a... Uh, like a couple of pens or pencils. So when the guard opens the door to let me in, I can be like, hey, so question, um, is there any way you can take me to those exhibits so I can do a little studying before the museum opens? And I don't have to worry about anybody like bumping into me and stuff. So I can get some more information from my reports. Takes glasses off, let's okay. down. <laughs> <laughs> Twirls hair. Okay. Um... <laughs> I can distract that. Card. If you want to do, if you want to do stuff that way, um, you are totally welcome to. How are the rest of you getting in? I have a really zany it's idea, but it requires hand. somebody cooperating with me. Someone okay. who's also inside or going inside. It's so like Brit. So who's going inside to give yeah. Lenny her, his uh, lunch? So you got charisma, right? Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to, uh... Charisma it up? Not quite. I need you to, like, suddenly have a massive affliction that, like, makes you medically in danger. And then someone's gonna yell if there's a doctor in the house. And I'll get a doctor in the house. I'll Do you have any poison drive? No. Oh. None. <laughs> I do. Okay, that that's a little <clears throat> much. Okay. And I'm not sure that they would let that they would do that. Um, yeah. then I'll actually, they would call a doctor. Yeah, I'm probably gonna just like like team up with someone else who's sneaking in and try to like follow their lead. Okay. Just get in that way. Um, I mean, I would have told you guys back at the clubhouse about the smoking door. Benji, how are you planning on getting through? I'm planning on getting in through the mm -hmm. awkward secret tunnel through the basement secret that tunnel. I discovered oh, because there's reasons. reasons. There's an awkward secret tunnel. In the basement. Secret tunnel. Okay. Uh, so. Here's the funny thing about most museums in New York, and this is just a meta thing. You can feel free to throw this out if you want to. No, 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 this is totally fine. This sounds fine. So a lot of museums and a lot of the older buildings that are converted into museums have some weird tunnel system that connects all of them because of New York's lovely architecture and they did stupid. Not all of them are very well guarded. Like, However, the majority of them 
do you have some sort of like entry port that's a bolt, like a deadbolt? Like there's a park in Charlotte that you can go in through the drainage pipe and get to into any building in Charlotte from there. Exactly. Is this particularly like difficult or tight to get into? Not the Charlotte one. I mean, Disney has a bunch of uh, okay. like tunnels and underground. So, too. like, I'm gonna just say that you probably discovered this by going through the back doors of like the security systems. You found the layouts, um, or the 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 mastermind Jotun uh, gave you guys the layouts. The blueprint who was yeah. like, "Hey, I don't want to go well, quite he did exactly give us the... the same entrance as Benji." Oh, I have a separate idea. Okay. So, just go um, the smoking door. I was thinking the ventilation system. I have double jointed. You do have double jointed. Okay. Um, so I want to like find a place that like a normal person couldn't normally get through, but I barely can because my bones are jelly. Okay. I need someone to shut the power off. I guess you can see in the dark. Okay. You're going to go in through the roof <laughs> and try and get into the ventilation system? I'm Getting so up to the roof I'm not the difficult. hacker. I'm colorblind. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I guess I'll do that. I don't want to hold the frame. I guess I'll do that. Yeah, is that right. athletics and strength? Uh, yeah, that would be for climbing up. And if you could also give me a dex and stealth roll to see afterwards to see, like, mm -hmm. if you're successful on this. It's going to be six for this one, and then seven for the other one to see if you can keep it quiet. <laughs> Negatory there, good buddy. Too. I watched. <laughs> well, go <going> out. <laughs> no, not necessarily. Oh, good. Well, good thing this Am happened. I already inside? Yeah, you're, okay. you're already inside. So, Liv is overestimating his ability to climb things without trying to get the vents, but I'm too dummy thick. He <laughs> climbed up the the uh, the drain pipe. The drain. He uh, tries to climb. He tries to he tries to go up the drain pipe and does not realize that because the Natural History Museum is a fairly old building in New York that some of the drain pipes might be rusted. And he gets up to a point where he's putting too much of his weight on it, and the drain pipe breaks and starts falling down. Timber. Um, roll me your soak. Soak is based on what? Stamina. Straight stamina? Just straight stamina. And the vibration of those dummy thick cheeks <laughs> as you climb does knock the rusty bolt loose. Okay, that, that's four. Okay, you soak the three bashing that you would have taken. Uh, your body is fine through exalted measures and being just better than usual. Um, but the roof is no longer an option for you. Okay. Well, get I lied. I guess I'm going the way Benji's going. Get wrecked. Sorry. Right. Okay. I want to get the bad roll out of the way now. So That's how it you, works. you, you, you call up uh, Basilisk's cell phone. Be like, hey, hold the door up. Coming in with you, bud. <laughs> um, Christina, how are you getting in? I guess I can try going as uh, Reese again and just say like I forgot some paperwork or something. Okay, okay, yeah, that sounds good. I dropped my favorite pen in one of the exhibits. You, well, I, was, uh, I was just there recently, and just since we're moving it the next day, it's literally like, well, I gotta check to make sure everything's okay. I know it was just here not last that long minute, ago. Last yeah. Mm -hmm. Technically, yeah. you were there like three weeks prior. Yeah, so. So, um, yeah, no, you, uh, you come knocking on the side entrance door, um, as our Dr. Reese, archaeologist, and someone comes over, it's one of the guards, and they let you through. It's one of the new guards who's a big, tall, dumb doofus who does not recognize you at all because that's how dynamic orping works. Literally, Lenny lets you through the door. I imagine. And he does not recognize that you are cats. Cool. I imagine if, if the guard does, like, let me go check out the exhibit to do my report. I'm probably like sitting on the floor, crisscross applesauce, like mm -hmm. taking, taking notes. Um, yeah. So it look you like I'm actually can, studying it. As long as you are in the Dr. Reese persona, uh, they are going to, as long as you're not doing anything super suspect. Um, if you, ask, is us. if, if you accidentally do something, uh, it's, that it, would trip a, it's, it's basically be like, 
And, you know, doing a follow-up on the last minute things, making sure everything looks this good. Is the last night. Um, you know, everything's mm -hmm. leaving tomorrow. Um final preparation. I just I wanna look everything over. Um is there any way I can look at it without tripping the alarms? Like they, can you can you turn them off so I can look at stuff? They send can can I get a D ten real quick? Yeah. They send the new guy with you. <laughs> to show you where all the trip wires are not to hit. You want me to make an eidetic memory roll? Uh, yeah, sure thing. Because it's not like you read that shit. You don't know how to read. And <laughs> awareness? Uh, it should be alertness. alertness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. Sorry, I get my alert in, dude. Uh, that is one success. Okay, yeah. With Identity of Emory, you are able to move Dr. Reese through the, uh, the labyrinth of tripwires and uh, random things that would set off the alarms without any... Real problem. There's some. There's some points where that you have some issue, but not a whole lot. So yeah, you are wherever the you need to be within the thing. Probably like within the room to like make note of everything and like make sure everything looks good. Okay. Um, I assume at this point that the lot of you have some kind of like communication device between everyone, because that would be the smart thing. I mean, do. I assume they have, like, little earpieces earbuds. or something. Yeah. yeah, you all probably have little earbuds. I'm going to start off with the guys who are infiltrating the place, which would be Benji and uh, Tyler. You guys are going through the underground <clears throat> tunnels that lead into the Natural History Museum area. Um, Basilisk and... The two abyssals, ironically, mm -hmm. are near each other. Hey... Tyler, I know you don't have your character sheet with you, but what is your <coughs> essence score? Twelve. You're two. Two? Yeah. Great reading, Yours is yes. Two, two as well, isn't it? Uh-oh. Yeah. Basilisk in the tunnels. So, so, funny story. Uh -oh. Having multiple abyssals... Stacks. Stacks. Yeah, it's not a... It's not a, uh, oh, they're both two, uh -huh. so it's only two. No, it's four. Also, I looked into some of the other stuff. Just by dint of you guys being supernatural, it already lowers it by one. Okay. So, uh, the... the sh okay, so, by this, the what I should tell you, Benji, the, same is place, that the more The closer the real world is to the ghost world. The thinner the veil is. The thinner so the veil So I walk through doors now. Cool. <laughs> um, there's a lot of... Not a lot of, but enough to be concerning. Uh, ghosts flickering in and out around you guys. Um... You guys do event going through the tunnels. You see a bunch of people who have been uh, drowned down here. I see you all fell victim to the mobs of New York. Have fun. Goodbye. I exactly. don't care anymore. Cinderblock shoes. Cinderblock shoes. A uh, lot of people who Sorry, like, like who, who, you. A lot of people with no t a lot of people with no tongues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> no fingernails. You didn't pay your protection money on time. Mm -hmm. well, exactly. And eventually, you guys get to a door that is just a dead bolt. Uh, you know that <laughs> dead bolt. You ah. know, uh, Benji. You know that that uh, or basilisk. You know that the. There is no real modern <clears throat> security system near here because it is near impossible to put a modern security system that doesn't, for unknown reasons, just start freaking out around here. There were a lot of murders that were committed in these underground tunnels. So there's a lot of ghosts around, and ghosts can trip infrared sensors. Huh. Interesting. So I'm going to... Oh, sorry. There's a lock. There's a door, and there's a lock with a single deadbolt on it. Well, I guess this is part of my job. As the safe cracker? Yeah, mm -hmm. technically breaking into things. Well, in uh, is it like an old rusty deadbolt? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... How close are we to the actual museum? Really basement. close. Okay. You guys are going to be in the basement of it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Can I make a roll to try to, like, just, like shim my shovel into this lock and crack it open, but, like, not super loud. Yeah, sure. Um, strength and athletics. Okay. I know your strength is five. My athletics is three. Okay. 
Uh, difficulty is going to be, since you're trying not to make it loud, difficulty is going to be a seven. If you get sixes, let me know. You're right, you're but gonna... seven is what you're actually looking for. How does spending willpower work? Uh, if you spend a point of willpower, you get an automatic success. I will do that. Okay. Uh, with an automatic success, you technically do not have to roll, but if you want to, more successes are, is always sure. good. Three. Plus um, one, so four. Okay. So you watch this man uh, pull out a shovel, uh, find a crack in the door, and somehow silently, like, break off the rusted uh, deadbolt. It's like a little needle snapping noise, like, ding! Yeah. Mm-hmm. In oblivion, no one can hear the lock scream. <laughs> and the door swings open into the basement <clears throat> of the museum. Hey guys, Brendan here. Boy, was that a fun episode. We had some really weird and fun moments as we got through the whole thing. Uh, That montage was honestly some of my most fun that I've had uh, running for this group, like, ever. Speaking of uh, fun things, the theme song for this season is Epic Blockbuster 2 by Raphael Crux. Other music in this episode was provided by Raphael Crux, Thundermind, Art of Escapism, Alexander Nakarada and Status Q. If you liked what you heard, give us a follow, a like, or a review on your podcatcher of choice. It helps us get to more people's ears so they can hear our wacky dabbing shenanigans. And if you wanted to get in contact with us for questions to be answered in episodes, you can send them to a pair of dice lost on Twitter or a pair of dice lost at gmail.com as an email. Finally, as we get closer to a successful heist, I saw that cool thing you just did, so here have some cool stunt dice. <laughs>